Good afternoon, everyone. This is Luther P40. Uh, just letting you know that I got finally got my uh, EBN dry cell hooked up. Uh, basically, in a standard 4N4 configuration. I got the positives on the outside center and uh, you know the two outsides plus the center. I've got the negatives on the two inner ones with with four neutrals between each set. So basically, I've got one, two, three four cells, four, four, four collections of cells. I've been playing with this and finally got my uh, solution where I was more or less happy with it. This current configuration, I probably got more water than I need to. Uh, it's using, I've got about just over a half a gallon of solution in here. To, uh, total volume, counting what's inside the cell, the hoses, and this much of the reservoir. Uh, let's see what else did I miss here. I built another reservoir. This is just another. This is just another uh, reservoir that's for the. Uh, it's not for the cars. For the for the de for the uh, bench workbench. Um, I decided against using the one that I was going to put in the car in here mainly because it's got a round bottom and I didn't feel like fighting with it. And one minor modification to my. In this instance, in this, on this old one, you can see where I had the uh, separate cap and a separate bubbler. This one has got the bubbler and blow off as part of the reservoir. I mean, I've got my got my handy dandy Lowe's shopping bag as single layer of shopping bag. So if it does blow up, it has a place to go. Uh, this is something new. I first time I've ever added a sight glass to any of my stuff. I just wanted to, I didn't want to have to look in from the top to see how much water I had, and this way I can see it. Uh, I'm using the uh, braided braided uh, hose this time. Uh, a 3 8 on the bottom, half inch on the top. Let's see, oh, a modification to the cell itself. I changed out, changed out these nuts, the, 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 uh, nylon acorn nuts. I, I changed those out to just for standard standard quarter twenties and the reason being is that I could I could actually feel the tension on them and the tension on these uh, I want to say it's finger tight plus uh, about a quarter of a turn it might be three quarters it might be half a turn but I, I want to say it's, it's finger tight plus about a quarter or a half a turn and they aren't very tight at all no leakage that I've seen so far. Uh, my scope gave up the ghost. My scope gave up the ghost, so uh, I had to go out and buy a meter. Gosh dang it. This, this hobby is getting expensive. I had to go out and buy a meter so I could read that. Uh, I'm going turn to keep turning itself off. I'll slap that around a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use my, my stopwatch on my Casio as opposed to that that stopwatch uh, that stopwatch doesn't give me ten, hundreds of a second I want I want hundreds of a second I'm all set up with the uh, the Yahoo uh, flow meter it's tied in with a T so whenever I want to start recording I just plug the hole and we start we start measuring uh, <coughs> and I'm sure you're tired of me mess talking about it let's just fire it up I'm going to get that to work. And I don't want that range. I want volts. I don't want it to keep it auto ranging. So I'm on volts. I'm just going to go straight to full max. Easing it up nice and slow. Now remember that my amps draw is actually half that number right there. So we're looking at just under, just under 20 amps. There's my gas flowing. Starting volts. I'm going to do that. I'm going to mark that as 12.64 starting amps. I'm going to mark that as 39.2. I'll fix the math later. Uh, apologize for this. I have to set it down for a second. I'm going to do my stopwatch. And where I say I was going to go to 700 milliliters. So we'll go mark, set, go. Watching my 700 milliliters. 
I'm going to have to set you back down to turn off the stopwatch. for 700 milliliters on the first pass. That's all the way down. Reset. I'm going to do it one more time. Uh, mark, set, go. Uh, reset. Yeah, I guess I should have, I could have put it on a tripod, but this is just a demonstration run. I don't necessarily count these numbers as real. 400, 500, and then set you back down. Make some more stopwatch. 600, 32.12, 32.12. Stop volts. Stop volts is 12.46. Stop amps is 38.5. Uh, I'm going to be calculating liters per minute on the first pass and on the second pass, and I'll calculate the MMW for both of those. Just so you'll know, uh, my total system is using uh, 386 watts. That includes running that fan, that includes back charging that battery. And I had to tie the two together to get the. Had to get the. Uh, I needed something to keep the pulses off of the uh, pulse. Uh, this PWM was was screwing up the voltage regulation on the uh, charger, so basically now I've got I'm pulling power from both places. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh yeah, temperatures. 102.5. Uh, the tank is 96. Well, 94.1 at the bottom. 96.2 up at the inlet, and it's mostly foam and air, uh, gas. It's it's not very much liquid at all. So I've got some comments about these, but I think I'll save that for another video. I mean, I've got some observations about the cell. I'll save that for later. But uh, yeah, let me turn that off. Uh, what did I forget to tell you? Uh, five quarter two, five, five quarter teaspoons. I use five one quarter teaspoons. I use five of these for a gallon of distilled water. Uh, this is pure, brand new solution. It's never been used anywhere. I mean, it's, I mixed it up specifically for this cell. I mean, it took me a while to get. Uh, it took me a while to find the right, right mix, or to get it where it would start doing something, something interesting. Anyways, put it that way. I get it to do something, to get it to do something early, but wasn't interesting at the beginning. Uh, I think that's about it. I've, uh, this is a, uh, yeah, that's the uh, EBN. My, my, uh, more or less the first run of the EBN cell was something worth looking at. Uh, this is Luther P40 uh, signing off. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Take care.